So this right here is how you cook some ground beef. You feel me? You just turn the eye on. I'm going to start it on about six or something like that. Nothing too crazy. And then throw this in the skillet. You feel me? Just throw, it. throw that thing in the skillet. You hear it. And the meat don't fill it. And you want to cook this meat until the meat is no longer red or pink on the inside. Do not be sitting here eating that pink meat. Don't do it. Do not do it. Please don't do it. You want to get you a spatula, quick little spatula, nothing too crazy. What is that? You want to break the meat up. If you're just trying to cook some ground beef or some tacos or some cheese dip, some spaghetti, this is how you get it right. This is how you get it nice. You want to just break it up. You really can just break it up to how you like it. But depending on what you're making, you might want to break it up for exactly what you're making. But this is going to be for some, you know, some chip and dip, some nacho type stuff. You feel me? So I'm going to go ahead and break this up quite a bit. Bear with me. It's been a long time since I did a cooking video. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to lie. All right. Break it up some more, break it up some more. And then I'm going to put a lid on it, let it cook for a while, and then check back in, show you how it looks. Put that on six because it's not high enough right now. Grab the lid, put that on there. The lid keeps the heat in so it can cook quicker. You can cook it without the lid, but you're gonna have the grease splatters landing all over the place. You might not wanna have that. So I'm gonna use the lid, keep that heat in, keep that grease from popping and doing all sorts of crazy stuff. And we're gonna check back in a little bit. Checking in on the meat. It's been a couple of minutes since I last let y'all see it. And if we flip this meat over, I'm gonna show you some of the parts that are already cooked. But as you can see, the top is not done. But as you can see, flipping it, some of that meat is already getting cooked, starting to look nice and brown. So what you want to do is you want to get all of the meat looking like that. So if you want to, you can stir it around, flip it around. You can even cook it all the way through without even stirring it up. Some people do it like that. It's really just whatever you choose. So I like to stir it up a little bit. Uh-oh, hold on now. Hold on now, get, your, get back up in there. I'm playing with you. I like to stir it up so I can go ahead and get all the pieces starting to cook. But to be honest, you don't even have to do this. You can just cook it like this and it'll cook it all through. You'll see all the grease start to add up and then you'll have to drain it out. But you could just cook it without stirring it. I just don't do it myself. Popping that lid off, you see the meat is cooking, cooking. We still have the stove on about six between seven. So you don't gotta have it too high if you don't want to. It's gonna get cooked. And as you can see, look at all that grease. Look at all that grease that's added up in there. Gonna stir it around just a little bit more. I'm not gonna add any seasoning to this until I drain it. I don't like adding the seasoning while there's so much grease. Because once you drain the grease, it's literally going to drain all the seasoning and all that good stuff that you want on there. So I don't do it like that. You can do it like that if you want to, but I don't got time for that at all. And a quick tip if you want to flip this stuff easy is to turn the spatula upside down like this and then just simply um, go in, push over, and then take it over to the other side and it'll start to flip over as you can see. So then you don't, you know, got to worry about doing all that. You can just simply wham, smack, wham, smack. Look, look how easy it's flipping over and turning. Look at it. Come on. I've been cooking ground beef since I was a, a tadpole. You feel me? Oh, take a shot every time I say you feel me. You feel me? All right, so right now, the meat has been cooking for about 10 minutes with the stove still on six between seven. So could be past this point sooner if I had it up higher. But I don't like doing it like that. I do it like this. And I'm not gonna lie to you, I dropped a steamy drip of water off the lid on the back of my leg just now. That was terrible. But as you can see, some of the meat 
maybe the more bigger chunks and clumps of the meat will still probably need to cook a little bit more. But as I get to this point right here, I go ahead and drain it because most of the pink is gone. Like you're not gonna really find any pieces with pink. And I like to get mine brown. So once I drain it, I can cook it some more and then I can start getting my meat a little bit browner. Maybe you wanna get a little crispness to it. And then we're gonna throw that seasoning on there. So, I'm gonna cook for just a couple more seconds, couple more minutes perhaps. And then we're gonna drain it. Oh no, casualties at war. Yum, yum, yum. Yes, sir. It's cooking real good. Alright, I'm going to let you know right now, I'm draining it into the sink. I know a lot of people don't like that, but look, I'm telling you right now, I'm draining it into the sink with hot water and call it a day. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. So if you were expecting me to do something else, I don't know if there is. Pull it out the way. Pour that on in there. You can wipe the skillet out if you want to to get all the grease out. Because as you can see, it's still real, real greasy. It's up to you though. After you drain the meat, just pour it back in there. Got this towel so I wouldn't drip the juice that was still dripping a little bit. That don't need to be on the floor because that's very slippery. And as you can see, if I crack this meat open, it's all done all the way through. So, you can be done now if you want to. You can cook it a little longer if you want to. Put the seasoning on there. Please put the seasoning on there. Don't just, I mean, I guess if you're trying to keep out salts and stuff, you don't got to put salt. But put a little something on there. That tastes good plain, but it tastes better with the seasoning. So, with that being said... I'm going to hit it with some black pepper right there. Use as much as you like. Season this how you want to. Don't season it how I'm doing it if you don't like it. It's all good. I'm going to hit it with some kablam. Season salt. I ain't going to lie to you. We're going to go crazy with it. That's enough of that right there. Then we're going to hit it with a kablam. Some nice Himalayan pink salt. Hit it with that. I'm gonna come through with the Yes Herb. And I'm gonna hit it with the garlic powder. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna hit it with some of this kicking chicken. No, I'm playing with you. I'm playing with you. <laughs> Boy, I'm food. If you want to, you can get you can get a little spicy and put some crushed red peppers in there if you want to. If you want a little kick, I'm not gonna do that right now. I'm not gonna do it. Now, this is all I'm adding in here. And I'm gonna stir it up, taste it, see if I like it. If I want some more, I'll add some more. But it should be right on time. So yeah, the key to cooking hamburger meat, you don't gotta cook it too high, and you just wanna let it cook through so it's not pink on the inside. Especially when you're trying to cook it for spaghetti, nachos, some dip, some rotel, whatever you're cooking it for, where you dice it up and chop it up, you wanna make sure it's cooked all the way through. Oh no. We're tripping. Let me get a little, little taste of that thing. Oh yeah, that's on that's on point right there. And that is how you cook that ground beef. To be honest, it's the same way you cook ground turkey as well. Ground turkey just gonna cook quicker because it ain't got as much fat. It gotta cook out. 
but that's a whole nother video. If this video helped you out, please slam the like button. It's greatly appreciated. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace. And just in case you were wondering what I use my ground beef for, this is it. Put some cheese on them chips. Put that ground beef on that thing. Got the beans. Got that right there. Sour cream. Why well, I say that right there like I don't know the name of sour cream. But anyway, that's what I'm about to snack on. See you next time.